What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm filming on my iPhone today. I did forget my camera, but check this out. Check out where we're at. We're at Nara Deer Park. Walk up, just hand it to them. There are deer hanging out here everywhere. And they have little biscuits you can buy to feed to them. Take another one. Go feed that next one. They're all over the place. And some of them will even bow at you. Try bowing to this one, Mason. Bow. Okay, I'm just gonna give it. <laughs> here, Mason, here. Okay. Go he ahead. bowed. There you go. He bowed. Okay. Okay. All right, let's get away a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let's just ride. <laughs> Megan has like two packs in her bag, and yeah, they I smell that stuff. They're you got a car coming. They're there was one sitting on a bench over here. We'll have to go check and see, see if he's still there. He was bowing at everybody. I think you got to do it a little further away. Watch out. He's coming this way, maybe? He has no idea where he's going. He's going to go after one of these guys. Nice and grab it behind you, dude. What? Oh, look at that. Good job. He bowed at you. Mason, stay over here. Here you go, Mason. Behind my back. Come over here. Give it to the different guy. <laughs> look at them. They're posing for pictures over there with that one. You better feed him. Okay. Here you go. They keep on following him. Bow. Oh, I didn't bow that time. He did a little bow. Yeah, he did a little. Here's the one I was talking about earlier. He gets up on this bench and is just bowing down to everybody. Yeah. This one is still. Hello. I don't, I don't, I don't. They're gonna eat me. <laughs> this one's kind of the showstopper. <laughs> They're just intimidating you. Quit letting them intimidate you. That one bit my shirt earlier. That one feels warm. He's the biggest probably because he does the most bowing. These guys are the fittest because they run around and chase everybody and try to intimidate them into getting crackers. This place is pretty crazy. There's deer all over the place. We've only been in this little small part of it right now. Still following us. We're about two hours away right now from Nagoya and Nara. And we'll be doing a little bit of filming today. I'll probably jump onto my good camera here in a little while too. But for now, iPhone it is. He's feeling a little lazy. There you go, that was kind of a bow. That was kind of a bow, that was a good one. There you go. That one's real chill. I want to take a picture behind him. That's always very chill. The one over here, he's been letting everybody get right behind him. Thank you for the pictures, dear. Oh, getting up. There you go, bud. He's a nice, friendly one. Pet him on the head a little. 
<laughs> if there's not many left, you guys can have. Who are you gonna feed? Um, the one over right there. Okay, go give him some feed. Just watch out. Oh, there's lots of poop right here. And this guy kind of wants it. Maybe you should come this way. Uh, there's poop on the floor, too. What about this little guy? I think I should surprise him. Oh, this one's following you now. The one that does that a lot? No. The one we were petting. Bro. That's it, bud. That's it, bud. He smells it. Do you have any more? Or is that it? Oh, you do have a couple more. Have one. Have one. Have one. His antlers are really soft, though. Yeah, That's it, bud. Go ahead, Mace. There you go. Oh, we just came down here and now they're going crazy. Oh, God, I don't like them. Jeez, we got some, some hungry, oh, we got some aggressive guys down here. He's like, this looks like another stand over here, maybe, where all these people are. There's a ton of them down here, too. What? Oh, quickly, he's itching himself. Really is a beautiful park. Very touristy. But hundreds of deer. Probably. Probably if you got down to it and counted, there's probably a hundred deer. Oh, okay, well, there you go. We're only in one part of the park, Mason. There's lots of other parts of the park. There's a little one. Mason's a feeding the bird. <laughs> Nothing. The girl down there is getting mauled by the deer. And she threw all of her biscuits away. Here you go, Miss. This is the backyard, he ain't bound for you. You got somebody sneaking up on you. You don't have to drop it. He'll take it gently from your hand. He looks interested. Give him a bow. That was a little bow. Just walk up and hand it to him. There you go. Oh, you got another friend coming up. There you go. I think you got to bow a little bit earlier. Once he gets that close, I don't think he's interested in bowing. There you go, bud. That crow just took the whole cracker. <laughs> what? That crow. A crow. Just took the cracker. Mmm, like poop. He keeps him following me. I'm not getting I think he's your friend now. Uh, I think I should give him one more. This, right. this, this, is like, this guy over here seems to still be following us. He's put in that much effort. We better give him one. You want to give him one? I'm 
start bowing. Some people are just kind of going around and trying to pet the deer without giving any kind of treats out. You can tell that. Oh, what is this guy doing? Somebody was trying to pet that deer over there, and they were not having it. The deer kept pulling back, and the girl kept getting in closer. Do you need one, Mace? Here you go. You're silly. See, like, then they're trying to get selfies, and they don't have any treats. If you're gonna, if you're gonna get selfies, at least have treats. Whoever sells this deer food is making a fortune. It's like 150 yen, which is. Oh, did it get her? Did it snap at her? She was scared. 150 yen for one pack of them. And the pack is like maybe eight, eight crackers, ten crackers. They're kind of like graham crackers. Let's see what happens here. Let's see how this plays out. This guy's hanging out at this stand, which I don't think sells the sells the uh, crackers. He's getting up in everybody's business. Of course, I stopped to take a, a picture and somebody runs right into the back of the deer not paying attention. Pretty cool though. You get to see these up close. Another cool thing about Japan. Oh, he's going for that ice cream. <laughs> Mason's waiting to reward the deer after they probably don't feed her the cracker. Hold on, Mace, come here. Dude, you shoveling them in? six-year-old mind. Let's go, bud. All right, well, there's lots of deer down here chasing people. This one's getting aggressive with those dudes down there. What will we capture? He's just gonna intimidate him until he gives him all the crackers. <laughs> he has too many deer on his radar, so does she. She just fed him the paper. She fed him the paper. <laughs> she probably gave her too much, him too much biscuits, yeah. right? Is that what happens? Yeah, she keeps feeding him biscuits and he keeps wanting more. Same with that one. These deer are intimidating the biscuits out of people. Oh, she's got it. It took her shirt. What? It was holding on to her shirt. Did she go over there? I think if you have biscuits, you better be careful when you go over there. I can be careful because I'm really fast. I bet those deer are faster. All right, we have another deer coming over now chasing this guy. Mason has, what do you have? You have one biscuit? Once they realize you have a biscuit, they're gonna come over here for sure. <laughs> Well, if you give them one, they're going to want two, and if you give them two, they're going to want three, and now we got one behind us. Yeah, it looks like he's going after that girl. Oh, he's going he's to untie her thing. Okay, all the ones over here are super crazy, right? Yeah, that's what it seems like. No one was about to untie her thing on her dress. Yeah, look, I think that's like the 
kill deer, and I think this side's the crazy deer. Yeah, that's what it seems like. They're like, oh, we got a deer fight. Oh! Woohoo! You flipped it like, woohoo! Mason's not messing around after watching these people. I just want to see something crazy happen over here. Lots of deer and lots of people teasing them. What's happening here? He just ate something off that dude's bag. Dad, did you know this field is the crazy area? Yeah. Just feed it to him. Okay. Here. Oh, that one might be crazy. He does have a crazy eye. It's a little swollen. Yeah. Okay. That's all we have, bud. That's all we have. Just sit down. Don't go away. It's a cracker right there. Right here. What's that deer doing? Wow, he's peeing in the crazy area. Better be careful with that cracker. You're about to be really popular. Today's trip. Not really much on the way down here. Oh, I think he smells you. Just hand it right to him. Don't throw it. Just hand it. They're nice. Hey, he said. He might be crazy. As long as you feed him, he's gonna be okay. Yeah, well. Oh, now that he knows we have food. I think. What's up, guys? Hey, don't snot on me. I think we're crazy. They're chill. They say we don't have any more right now. Thinking about crossing the road. Oh, they better be careful. Oh. Come on back over, dear. Mason's enjoying some nice milk flavored ice cream. Better be careful, that's gonna fall if you lean it too much. We're walking back kind of towards the car. And we see this little head popping out. I think there might be water. He might be just chilling and feeling good down there. Just relaxing. What's up, bud? You want one? Let's go, boy. He's little. When deer go wild. I'm just hoping to capture that. I'm hoping to capture some snatching of some purses and taking off with all the crackers. <laughs> it's getting her. It's getting her. <laughs> Is that a crazy one? Watch out, he's gonna take your ice cream. Why does your mouth look like that? How does that even happen? You're a big looking bud. It's a nice bow. Thank you. That's a good bud. He's kind of like Captain. Captain was an old deer. That would be Captain. That's a good bud. That's a good bud. That was a good bow. He might be the guy from earlier that was bowing a lot. Please follow the leader. That lady over there is the leader. See, she has a flag and all the people are following her. This deer is over here enjoying their lunch. But I guess they speak English because they were speaking in English to the deer, like that's how they're gonna understand. That's pretty funny. It's gonna get it, oh, and it's got it. <laughs> it's a fight for the bag, oh my gosh. It's gonna eat that whole plastic bag if they don't get it back. Across the street from where the deer were, there's kind of like a little shrine in this little pond, and there's big frogs in here. 
Look at this guy. He's not really scared. That's a big boy. He's been making some funny noises too. I'm sure he'll make a noise when I walk away. There's also a turtle on this island over here. Walking around being pretty active. And another thing that's been pretty active lately is Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. Megan Reed downloaded it on her phone and Mason has been playing it on her phone and now he decided to download it on his iPad. And luckily there's Wi-Fi here, so he's creating his account. He's gonna get started and play some Pokemon Go. We have left the Nara Deer Park. We are now in Kyoto, right near Fushimi Inari Shrine. We've been there before. We're not gonna go there today in video or anything. If you wanna check out that video, I'll leave the links below. But today, we are coming back and... Bye. Bye. I forgot my wallet. Today we're coming back because there's a restaurant that we really like to eat here that we ate at last time we were here. Wagyu beef hot dogs, they're absolutely delicious. Found parking right in the area where it's at as well. Good old Supra. This is a very touristy area. Lots of people rent kimonos and walk around and do, do all the touristy sightseeing type things. There's lots of delicious street food here. The guy I used to work with in Okinawa, I remember the first time, Brett, whenever I came to Kyoto, you're like, you gotta get those donuts, you gotta get those donuts, and there's one of those places, the little mini donuts. But today, we are here for these Wagyu beef dogs. 102 Pokeballs. 102 Pokeballs. Yeah? Mason's got a pretty regular hot dog. Megan and I both got a basil Wagyu beef and a regular Wagyu beef. Very delicious, I already destroyed my basil one. How was yours? Good. So that was the place we just ate at. It's right there. Absolutely delicious place. If you're in, um, where the heck are we, Kyoto, and near Fushimi Inari to see that, definitely go eat at the Wagyu hot dog place. It's so good. But now we are gonna walk a little bit over towards the shrine. Not go to the shrine, but there is some more delicious food over here, if it's still the same as last time. So let's take a look. There is so much delicious food to eat right here around Fushimi Inari Shrine, including crab on a stick, which is a giant hit among everybody, and one of our personal favorites. This is the beginning of Fushimi Inari Shrine, the beginning of the trail up the mountain through all the Tori gates. We're not going today though, it's already late in the day. And it's kind of one of those things, if you've been once, it's really, in my opinion, not worth going again. But all the area around here with the food and the vendors is definitely worth it. Let's get out of here. Time to go back to Nagoya. We are home from a long adventure today. Two hour drive to, where? Nara, to see the deer. That was really cool. And I didn't even want a video today. I kind of, when we go out and stuff and go to places as a family or go do things, I, I sometimes don't want a video just because I want to get that full experience. And sometimes when I video, I feel like I'm concentrating too much on the videoing and not actually just enjoying where we're at. But I decided to video once we got there and that's why the video started on the cell phone. And uh, I video for pretty much two reasons. One, so I can look back on these memories and remember and see how Mason has grown. Because it's crazy just to look back and see how small Mason was when these videos started, what, maybe three or four years ago in Okinawa. So that's one of the main reasons. And then I also want you guys to be able to see parts of Japan because I know not everybody gets the opportunity to come out here and do this kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see the deer park, the frogs, the Pokemon, a little bit of Kyoto and the amazing food. But it is time to get out of here. For you guys that have been in Japan though, whether it be in Okinawa or wherever, I got a game changer to show you. If you were in Okinawa in the military, I bet you've drinking one of these before. This is a Chuhai. And this is melon soda flavor, 
strong. The 9% guys, everybody loves melon soda. And now they have a melon soda chew high. This is the first time I've ever seen it. And I am really excited to try it. And I know some of you guys that were in Okinawa in the military and loved melon soda and loved chew highs didn't get to experience this in the past, but it's here and you better get back to Japan and give it a shot yourself. And Mason is down in some gyoza. You look like you're thinking about something to say. Or do you just have nothing? Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.